Welcome back you beautiful people. Today is a, uh, well, I'm gonna try and settle something that I've been trying to explain to a few people that blue trails are way more fun than reds and blacks. All those hard ones, blue ones, are the best ones to ride. No matter if you're a super skilled rider or a beginner or even an amateur. I'll explain why. I guess it's gonna be exciting and fast today. I'm out here at Forrester Dean uh, Trail Centre and there's a, a, an abundance of trails all around me. I'm right in the middle of it and uh, I'm going to go and ride some reds and I'm going to ride some black trails and then I'm going to go and ride some blue. And I'm going to show you why blue trails are the most fun ones to have because there's some hidden gems on blues if you're, if you're willing to find them. Anyway, I'm riding my Nuke Proof Reactor today and uh, it's set up for park slash trail riding, whatever, it, the suspension is really hard. So I'm going to be doing some jumps, I'm going to be riding some crazy things and uh, I will uh, explain everything whilst I'm going along. And I'm on my own, no one here, just me, my camera and you beautiful people somewhere in the ether of the internet. Right, first trail I'm going to ride today is going to be a uh, red or over here at uh, Forest of Dean, Pedal Bike Away, the, uh, the trails are symboled with dots, so red, two dots is a red, one dot is a blue, and three dots is black, and then so on, so on. So I'm gonna run, I'm gonna ride Ski Run. Ski Run is uh, rough, a little bit techy up top. Uh, it's fast, it's intimidating to some, because there's a horrible road, like a drop onto a fire road, which I've crashed on. Here we go. I slid from there, well I hit the deck, oh, I got the biggest dead leg ever. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's my friend. Anyway, that hurt in the middle of winter. Uh, I'm gonna ride this. It, it's, uh, like I said, it's fast, but uh, it's fun, but you have to think a lot when you're going fast. Right, three, two, one, dropping it. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. This is the, the grading here at Forest of Dean Trail Center. You got small, medium, and large, but it's kind of green, blue, blue, red, red, black. It's just like the obstacles on the trail are large, some jumps, drops, it's rough, and it's techy. Uh, but here are the trails that I'm gonna be riding. And there are gonna be countdown Sheep scale, corkscrew, ski run, and GBU. GBU is incredibly fun. Um, ski run, that's a bit choppy in places. Uh, corkscrew is nice and flowy with some turns and some jumps and gets a bit rough. Sheep scale, pedally, quite hard. It's not hard, it's just physical. Countdown, that one is fun. The one with the one dot, that, is why I'm riding today. Because it's super chill, it's less faff, you don't have to think super hard, you don't have to jump stuff, you can flow, you can chill, or you can find some natural hits or some gaps that are kind of purposely built, but you gotta find them to hit some big gaps. So I'm gonna hit that one. Countdown. The final countdown. All right, that's enough of that. Camera bag on, let's go hit countdown and uh, have some absolute fun. <laughs> 
found my first hit. Not even halfway, not even, no, we're not even, even in the trail. Right, come with me. This is why I love blues. This is why I love blues, okay? It just makes me super excited. You've got a roller there and you've got a roller just there. But with this one, obviously you can just roll over it, get your speed, but when you're riding the trail super quick through here, you can look at these obstacles. Look at this roller, this one, and they got a tiny one over there. You can gap that. Or you can just even like come over and manual through to this one here. And that's quite a fair, it's a fair old gap. You can see people kind of gone straight because it's blues are really fast. You've got to be quite controlled. Look at this tree. Look at that. Bang, bang. Someone's actually just hit that. It wasn't me, thank goodness. I nearly did. I'm gonna gap that. Right, everything on a blue is not out there to hurt you or to make you fall off. Well, out, if you're out biking, you're at risk of falling anyway. Anyway, on a blue, there's nothing out there that's gonna jump out and there's gonna be a gap that you have to jump. Everything's rollable, just like this. So you've got two lumps, one lump there, lovely lump, another lovely lump over there. Now you can roll that, it's like a step down roller. This is where I love blues, because they are fast flowing. You can use these transitions to jump. So you can jump this one, step down, and there's another one over here, which is kind of, kind of, this is slight left hip. You don't want to jump it straight because there's a tree. But this one here, this one's pretty fun. But the next one, tiny little roller, it's probably just under a foot high roller, but then there's a, another one over here. Okay. Can't really see it, but it's there. So you got one, one, one there, and then one here. This is a challenge because it's quite, it's like two and a half bike lengths, maybe three bike, three bike lengths. Take off there, land in over here. It's quite big, but the consequences are not that high because, well, it's small, isn't it? You're going fast, and if you case it, you case it. If you were to do something like this on a big black, on, a, on a black trail or a red trail where you're going a lot more quicker, the consequences are higher, the obstacles are bigger, it uh, just brings in a bit more of a fear factor, whereas on the blue trails, the fear factor is there, but not as high. This one's gonna be quite hard. was gnarly. Look, chain came off. Chain came off. Uh, how? I do not know. But I tried to gap, so there's a double roller here. But the second roll is like a, a big tabletop. Well, big tabletop. It's like a little tabletop. There. There's a roller, but I thought if I roll that one, I gap from this one into the bank. Which is quite far. And the consequences are, are high for like firing you off there. Like you can disappear down this little drop here or hit my stunt stump pod where the camera was. I could have whacked here from there. Oh man, good feeling. But I think this is where the chain came off. It like it burped. I could smell, I could smell sealant. So it burped a bit. But these little obstacles, this is what I thrive for on the blue trail. You've got rollers like this, but you've got the banks where they've dug it out. You can use those as landings. Hey, up. Hi, train. Loving it. That's the third time I've seen those two dudes go down the same trail. It's just super flow and fun. No consequences, but payday 
is every day on a blue. <laughs> okay, that, like that. There's plenty more where they've come from on another trail. Road ahead, slow. And I'm steaming. <laughs> This one's a challenge. Leap of faith. If I can do this one, the one down there, I can nail. More speed. This, my friends, right here is like strawberry ice cream to me. And down there is like profiteroles with chocolate drizzled all over them, which is a humongous step down jump, which it's two rollers, but when you're coming through here at max speed, like Top Gun style, you've got the speed to clear that humongous step down. It's pretty humongous. It's my favorite hit in this whole trail center, that bit there, because you're flat out. This bit, oh, strawberry ice cream, baby. Lift that front wheel up and do a manny. It's actually a blue moderate. This trail. It's an incredible loop actually. It starts right down the bottom, loops all the way out, comes around. And this is like the the home straight down back to the uh, the hub. But on here, there is some bangers. I wonder how many times I'm gonna say I love blues. Blue, blue, I'm beat up and die. Wish we could put that tune to this. I don't know what to say. I didn't pull, and then it was like I'm going really fast into some rollers that are, I thought I could gap the ones in between. So roll one, gap two, roll the last two, because the last two is massive. I don't think I could make that. I thought I was gonna get pinged off my bike down there. All right, been on. Moving on swiftly! So there we have it. Blue trails, who would have thought, right, that you can have so much fun on a blue trail, no matter what kind of level of rider you are, you can have so much fun on it. Being from an absolute novice, beginner, to pro, to super pro, you can still have fun on a blue trail. Thank you very much for watching this. The rain has just started. Good timing. I'm going back to the cafe for a cup of tea. See ya! Oh, beat Neil down. He went down another trail. I went down a blue. More fun, isn't it?